Welcome to another edition of Mad Movie Review. I'm your host, Mad Dog. Today I'm talking about Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. So this movie's still in theaters, so if you do not want your viewing pleasure ruined, go ahead and shut this down. Uh, if so, you don't mind. Spoiler alerts. Stars Johnny Depp. Of course, is Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow searches for the trident of Poseidon while being pursued by an undead sea captain and his crew. It's an amazing movie, man. It's pretty decent. Um, I give it two thumbs up. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. My only problem was I only saw um, the first parts of the Caribbean and uh a couple minutes of uh dead man's chest and i enjoyed the hell out of it man johnny depp is a hell of an actor he's funny as shit um some people think that he um he kind of plays the same guy in some of the movies like the mad hatter and uh, uh, willy wonka are basically the same character um this is kind of different well it's a lot different and um it's something that kind of captivates the audience because one um it's becoming a um, a character that's pretty much well known uh, from all genres, from you know uh, comedy to action to whatever. You know what I mean? Um, it's funny because it really doesn't have a whole lot of Orlando Bloom um, in it. it. Does talk about his son, basically jumping right off the end of the. Uh, the the one before this one johnny depp actually kind of played more of a mature version of uh jack sparrow it was cool to see the the change in his attitude and the way he was kind of handling stuff usually he's just out to get his own um it's kind of cool that uh in the movie too they also show a uh, earlier jack sparrow <laughs> Kind of reminded me of what he looked like back in the day with 21 Jump Street when I used to watch it. It's pretty cool, you know, kind of gave some kind of uh, origin story. Which also brings us to Javier. Javier uh, is uh, Captain Salazar and uh, he is, um, he's the main villain in this movie. He's, uh, he's not a pirate, but he's got a pirate's kind of attitude. He's hunting pirates down. He's a Spaniard. Um very cool uh character really awesome cgi kind of weird though because his hair is like flown in the in a thing and it's like slow motion you know what i mean i'm not sure why they did that he sounded like he's got a breathing problem like uh darth vader which made it even more creepy i think um orlando bloom like i said his he's trapped at the bottom of the ocean um as a part of the ship that can no longer can't leave until Jack Sparrow uh, hands over this uh, the the Black Pearl, which will release him, free him. Uh, the Trident is supposed to re lift up all the curses, all the seas curses. That means even the shit through every single one of these that was a curse should probably end up being lifted, which is good and bad. I don't know. And uh, so William Turner obviously ended up with his wife, you know what I mean, and uh, had a child. His kid grew up. Um, throughout the movie, and uh, it was cool because he, he looked just like him. His name was uh, I think his name's Henry in the movie. Jeffrey Rush, um, he played Hector. Um, so he is uh, playing as uh, a concerned person in this one for his daughter's safety. Finds out that he's his uh, daughter's possession of 
his um i believe it's his journal with this jewel on top that actually helps her to be able to find um this uh treasure in the stars because she's an astronomer so she she uh convinces everybody basically to listen to her because she knows what the fuck she's talking about and but uh jeffrey ends up uh, sacrificing himself for his daughter's uh sake and the rest of the crew um pretty awesome pretty good story for it right